Dr. Sitliff, can you describe the DART project that will use the Gen380 as a testing platform? Yes. Um, so if I can get, have a little bit of background, uh, we've been working, uh, my, me personally, I've been working in, in NASA since 1995, and we've had a test rig there, the um, ANCF, the Advanced Noise Control Fan. And I've worked on that about 20 years, but that's a very low technology readiness level environment. Um, we, NASA as a whole, wanted to be more relevant and uh, be able to develop the technology, noise reduction technologies much quicker so that we can have an impact on the, um, uh, on the uh, engine manufacturers and the aircraft. So about five years ago, we recognized that we ne needed a more advanced uh, test vehicle. And I'd looked at a bunch of different uh, uh, engines and even, even designing our own, maybe all electric. Uh, but we came, came across about three, four years ago the DGEN at one of the conferences and quickly recognized that it was you know, fully representative of, of modern turbofans. Um, so that's where we kind of decided and, you know, it'd be a nice idea to have this to operate in there. So in, in addition to just the noise reduction, we can study the engine as a system. So the DART project itself, the DGEN Aeropropulsion Research Turbofan, uh, initially we want to do a lot of um, a lot of the technologies that we've developed over the last 10-15 years. We want to advance some liner technologies in the inlet. Um, we've done a lot of over the rotor treatment um, and, and want to be able to take that. Um, a lot of concepts we've done are workable but we haven't been able to put them in, in a realistic environment. So that, that's kind of the number one thing is take all these technologies that we've had at low DRL level and put them in, in the more um, uh, the, the, the higher temperature, higher flow environment. Um, that's primarily for me from acoustics. We want to also work on controls. Um, the, uh, a lot of the advanced aircraft concepts are going to require multiple engines instead of the traditional two or four on the engine. They want to put a, a several smaller engines and maybe embedded in the wings so we want to study the interaction uh, when they're close coupled. Um, uh, also um, the installation effects. Uh, you, again you've seen the engines are hung off the uh, wing or off the fuselage, well, that does create a lot of drag, unnecessary drag. If we're going to reduce the drag and reduce the noise, we're going to have to embed them somehow, blended wing bodies. So there's a lot of uh, reasons to, you know, how do you in embed them and get the ducted flow to them. Um, second uh, concept is that the DART, you know, we've talked about it being mobile to be able to move it from facility to facility. There's a lot of interest with the engine manufacturers. They do a lot of uh, static testing because uh, flight testing is even more expensive. And we've gone from static testing in our facilities, outdoor testing, and then even wind tunnel testing to get the forward flight effects. So the DGEN is small enough that we would be able to put those in each of those facilities over the next uh, you know, five or even 10 years and study the difference between those environments. If there's any corrections needed with, with that, that could be applied to their engines, you know, the much larger engines. Um, perhaps even longer term if we could mount it onto an existing aircraft. Um, as a, a lot of times they'll do that, they'll mount the third engine on there just for flight studies. Why did NASA choose the Gen 380 for this project? Um, I think because it is, uh, it's small enough that it can be operated in our facilities. Uh, it looks like it's very easy to maintain, uh, disassemble and reassemble each of the parts uh, we're able to look at and you know if we need to uh, modify a part because we're developing like for example the fan, if we want to uh, put a new fan on it of different type. Uh, we even talked about ceramic fans or trailing edge serrations in that. Uh, it looks like a very uh, easy to do, very easy to operate. Um, and very robust, so we, we think we can learn a lot from it, um, as, as well as when we took that joint test back in 2014, had a very good acoustic signature for research. All the fan t components were there, the compressor components, we could uh, see those in the far field, as well as the jet noise. So. How would you describe the collaboration between NASA and price induction? 
it's been fantastic. Uh, we're again, uh, we're working as a team. You know, I don't see us as, as separate entities. The teamwork uh, has been great. There's one one team. Um, the technical expertise of the engineering staff has been amazing. A lot of times, um, it's hard for me to tell who has come up with the idea because of the interaction. Um, you, you know, they'll, they'll, our, the NASA engineers are working with the uh, price induction engineers to come up with a joint solution. So, uh, from my point of view, it's been fantastic. Our collaboration with NASA and specifically the DART project definitely is boosting uh, price induction's ambition to position the Gen 380 as a research platform. And aside from this, the, 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 the team in price induction is very excited to work with the team from NASA. It's a great experience.